Hey guys, Ashley at Frugal Coupon Living here. Um, I'm really excited to come to you today because I have something new to share with you that I think you're going to love. I've been working on it for months and I personally have implemented um, it into my home. And it's been really great, not only for myself, but um, for referring um, back to my husband and also for um, getting the kids on task. And um, so I bring you our Busy Mom Binder. So I actually took um, everything out of the binder because I tried to do this video with the binder and I just kept whacking myself in the face. So I took everything out just so I could show you um, all that it has. But here it is, the Busy Mom Binder. So let me show you the entire contents of the binder. These are my pages. You can see how thick it is. It's uh, 35 pages. I personally had this um, printed at Staples, but you could print from home. Either place is fine. And um, it comes in three sections. It comes in organization for the home, organization for the kids, and lastly, organization for mom, but probably most important, right? Um, so let's start with the home. So in this section, I have um, a password keeper, which is great because I personally um, have one password for a lot of places, and I know that's not very good with security breaches nowadays. So if you could have this printed off a few times by your computer, it would be really easy to remember the password for each important website. Um, we have a weekly meal plan, including a grocery list, but I have another larger grocery list for you in here as well. So um, a monthly declutter challenge, if you're trying to find joy in your home, this would be a great place to start. It can start in the middle of the month. It doesn't have to be on the first. Next, we have uh, a daily cleaning checklist. This helps you clean your entire home, just doing it a little bit at a time each day. But if that's too generic for you, I have a deep cleaning checklist as well. And this spreads it out to um, different parts of the home, just so you know how to deep clean each area. And next up is a laundry schedule. This example is blank, but I gave you, or I included my laundry schedule. The kids on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday I hit the parents, Thursday sheets, um, Friday bathroom, Saturday anything that's left over, and then Sunday the day off. Um, next we're gonna go to organ organization for the kids. But let me show you something really quick from um, the home that I took out of the binder because it did not need to go in the binder. Um, this is a laundry. The laundry is clean. The laundry is dirty. This can be a magnet that you put on the actual um, washer. Or you can take this and you can see the whole punch area. Um, you can tie it to your laundry basket. And then you have a basket where it's dirty and where it's clean. Um, similarly, I also have something for the dishwasher. You would have um, the dishes are dirty and that would be up or the dishes are clean, flip it over. And you would cut this out. I would suggest you laminate just because it's near an area where there's water and um, place a magnet on the back. And that way you can immediately tell um, whoever's in the home if the dishes are clean or dirty. So next, organ organization for the kids. First up is our babysitter notes. This is especially helpful for um, our area, but I think it would be good for your area too. We do not have our grandparents living in the same city. So we have babysitters that don't know the history of the kids or know the kids very well. And a bunch of information is included on here for the kids and for the babysitter, like emergency contacts, medical information, whether they can have screen time, what time they need to go to bed, all of that good stuff. So you wanna print off that a bunch of times. Notes for school. Print these off a few times and have them um, maybe in your junk drawer in the kitchen. This one um, provides the different reasons of whatever you're contacting the teacher for. And then right here, we have a blank area um, if you wanted to write in something that wasn't described over here. So daily chores. This has been great for my kids because um, it has allowed me to lay off, lay off of them and let them kind of take the reins with what they need to do each day or each week. Now, if you think your kids can't control their own cleaning, here we provide a detailed checklist of how to clean my room. So pick that towel up off the floor. 
That's what I say all day. Anybody else? Um, this is really cool. This is a coloring sheet, but it's also a savings tracker. So as they save um, $5 at a time, they would color through the path. And then all the way over here, they save $170. So if there's something really big they're saving for, it's a great way to track how much they've saved so far. Okay, guys, I have a three-year-old, two two-year-olds, and um, I'm a work-at-home mom, but I'm also a stay-at-home mom. And this is a daily schedule for the kids, actually for um, mom, for the baby, for the toddler, and whomever right here. So I feel like I've been a work-at-home, stay-at-home mom for 11 years. And really I have because my oldest is 11. It just feels like that schedule is never ending and always changing, especially as they change. Um, next, we have family bucket list. You can fill in whatever your bucket list desires are. A weekly lunchbox planner. Get the kids involved. Put it on the fridge and allow them to be active in their um, own lunch. Next, organization for mom. Oh, let's go back to the kids once again. Um, I wanted to show you these toy bin labels. So you can cut them off. Um, you can laminate them or tape them with clear tape to toy bins. Or there is a hole punch at the top and you can um, punch a hole and make it a tag. In that case, I would definitely have it laminated. Now I have five kids, I have boys and girls. So I think I've covered most everything in these toy bin labels, but in case I've not, I include some blank um, labels for you and you could print off this page a number of times if you just want to um, fill in the blank, have your own handwriting, etc. So back to organization for mom. Here we go, mom, all about you. Um, moving on, here's your daily planner. And if that's just too detailed and you need to see a bigger picture, we have a weekly planner. And then moving along, a big goal planner. So if you've got something you really want to accomplish, this gives you small steps to get there and a list of um, action plan to reach that big goal. Okay. Um, so you know how I gave you the kids saving tracker, savings tracker? This one's not colorable, but um, it's a 52 week savings challenge for you. And you can start at any time. You don't need to start January 1st. Next, um, a spending tracker. So you can fill this up um, over the month, over the week, hopefully not over the day. <laughs> and um, a debt payment tracker. If there's a credit card bill or um, maybe a student loan that you're trying to pay off, maybe a car payment. Here's a blank grocery list, but we divided um, the grocery list into areas of the store. So dairy, produce, um, household items, meat, fish. I hate when my list is all over the place and then I'm, if I'm going in order, I'm running from dairy to produce to, um, you know, aisles, everything like that. So I've grouped it together so you're not chasing things all over the store. You're gonna wanna print a bunch of these. We could go through like three of these in a week. Okay, birthday tracker. You say it's your birthday. All right, next, emergency contacts. Maybe print off a few of these. This would also be helpful for the babysitter. Um, and also just to have in your home. Consider this um, binder like stays on your kitchen island, or stays on your kitchen counter, um, somewhere really important that everybody can access it. Um, with the daily chore charts and other things, there's some things you just want to take out of the binder and hang up on um, the refridge or in your family command area, or even in your kid's room if it's something that they are responsible for. And lastly, a medical information sheet. And you can print this off a few times if you need to as well. Um, maybe something for each child, etc., for each member of the family. So guys, there it is, our busy mom binder. I really hope you enjoy it. I'm really excited about it. And um, like I said, this some days were just a struggle for us. And this really has helped us organize our home. And my goal was... Um, to find something winning for me as a mama five and hopefully share it with you guys. So let me know what you think. I hope you love it as much as we do. And um, thank you for joining me. Have a great day.